Canella be a pinfall, and that's all that matters tonight. Show me that scorebook. Moving forward. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And the physicality just keeps rolling. Talk about our hitters. As we're moving forward in AML confrontation. Here comes Jacob Fatu, former MLW heavyweight champion, part of that Samoan dynasty. A very dangerous dynasty. This will be the absolute biggest contest, biggest test. Bojack, you got to pull out of something in you that you haven't met before. But you know, Bojack, he is all heart. And that may be what gets him through this match with Jacob Fatu. He's going to need a lot more heart. We know that music. You can hear the crowd as Bojack has become an AML favorite. You can hear the crowd chanting his name. They know what time it is. The dreadlock demolition machine is in the building. Very few people in AML are as popular as Bojack. And these fans are showing the love. Guys, I hate to side with Jacob Fatu on this one, but when you look back at the matches that Bojack has had in AML wrestling, he's not matched up against guys his size. He's usually wrestling guys that are, again, not disparaging his opponents in any way, but he's not wrestling guys the size of Jacob Fatu. So has Bojack made his style to handle a smaller opponent and not be able to handle Jacob Fatu? And there's Especially case in, in the point. situation like that. James, to back it up, what you said earlier, took his eyes off his opponent, Jacob Fatu with the, with the Pearl Harbor attack, getting on him and staying on him. That's just something that we see a lot of times with these young guys. You know what I mean? We learn from the veterans that the crowd and the people mean a lot to the match. But they can be the detriment as well. If you pander to them too much, it's a big Samoan uppercut from Jacob Fatu is right there. It, it leads to things like this. Catastrophe. You know what I mean? You're starting off in a, just a brawl of a fight already on the bad foot. And... Uh, Jacob Fatu is just throwing Bojack into anything that ain't nailed down, basically. Bojack has not been, again, not to, not to belabor this point, but the strength of Jacob Fatu able to throw Bojack around. Bojack's not come up against that in AML wrestling since he's been with us. You haven't been a part of a 245-pound just Samoan block of a tree. Like oh. The man is just huge. Well, normally Bojack, we talk about his size working uh, smaller guys, having the matches against the smaller guys. Bojack normally, everyone up against Bojack is giving up 100 plus pounds. Bojack's never, like you said, the weight advantage is gone in this one. Absolutely. It's just going to be about violent speed and absolute momentum. Just met with a big chop right there back with a forearm. Bojack say, saying that I'm not out of this fight just yet. Clubbing blow to Jacob Fatu. There's just that meaty man slapping meat as he chops him right into one of the stage chairs. Looking back to the fans. Bojack's asking for silence. His back's reserved. Didn't know that. That's cool. That's chop, advertising chop, he, space. He chopped him so hard the advertisement sign went with him. As they just climb their way back up to the apron. Both of these huge men. As soon as this gets back in the ring, though, this is the, the fight isn't going to stop. Bojack battling back. Woo! Huge. 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 What's in the water down there in Samoa? That's Bojack. what I want to know. Oh, my God. Huge. You're no! knocking to the apron. Right on the steel fan, get your ass out of the way. What are you doing down there anyway? Jesus, you see two killers and you just want to walk to them? 
Jacob Fatu has Bojack exactly where he wants him. Looking at Triad stage like this is my house. I can't stress this enough. If you are a fan in attendance and you see two giants coming at you, please do not try to run between the action. I mean, she's just, ah, let me get up out of your way. Excuse me. I'm sorry I'm interrupting your show. Move. Jacob Fatu again understanding that he's got to get him in the ring to get the pinfall victory. Rolls him back in, staying on top of him, huge headbutt. Ooh, I like that. That's a fire like that. intensity. Challenging everyone yeah. in the Triad stage. Anybody yeah. that wants to fight, come get some. I don't. I wouldn't mess with a Samoan in a bar, man. I'm gonna just be honest with you. I wouldn't mess with a Samoan. Not, <laughs> no matter the locale. But Mike, back to what you were saying. This match is right here. Is case in point. In your in your point as well. Bojack hasn't fought anybody with this level of striking power, this strength and size. And you're seeing that right now with Jacob Fatu keeping the big man off of his feet. You don't see Bojack to a knee or off of his feet very often at all. So this is undiscovered country for Bojack. Okay. Bojack's going to have to learn really fast, adapt or perish. That's exactly right. You have to adapt the game plan with the way that it goes. Like we said earlier, everybody had the plan until you get punched in the face. Well, you got punched in the face, and now it's time to change up the game plan. It's time to move on to something different. Battle back, Bojack. Get in Find it within deep of yourself. I Jacob keep Fatu. Up my words. Jacob Fatu just keeps I'm almost gonna say decimating Bojack here, which is very rare to see Bojack in this position. But this is like a demolition derby. Absolutely. He's just throwing the demolition machine just across the ring, working on every body part that he can get his hands on. This is an absolute beatdown right now. Bojack's going to have to find something within himself to battle back. Here he comes, huge clothesline out of there, out of the corner. He's there feeling it is it. Bojack, feel it. Grab it from these people. And but then a huge super kick. Huge super kick from Jacob Fatu. The fans trying to get behind Bojack, bring him back to life. And these fans, like I said earlier, they love them some Bojack. Bojack becoming an AML favorite here. Been a mainstay for the past couple months as far as since the day after at WrestleCade. The man had a wonderful showing in front of a lot of people. The people behind the scenes, the powers that be, keep bringing them back, putting them in big opportunities and matchups like this. Kid, they want you to get seen, but you've got to fight the biggest and the, bit and the baddest in the business to be able to do that. You know, we talk about things. This could be Bojack's, like, coming out party if he'd be able to defeat Jacob Fatu tonight and say, hey, I deserve to be here. I deserve my spot here in AML Wrestling. I mean, to beat a guy the caliber of Jacob Fatu has immediately got a catapult. Bojack. Mike, that's exactly Into the title what... picture. It's got to catapult him into many more opportunities. Jacob Fatu is a well-known name. Double tough. As Absolutely as tough as they come. He chased him and now down. Big Norman Smiley of a of a scoop slam into a senton of 300 pounds. Bojack, you got him where you want him. Hook the leg, pressure on the shoulders. Jacob Fatu barely getting that shoulders up, but that's exactly what I was going to ask you, Mike. You brought it up before I could even get there. Back to what your point was. This uh. A win over Jacob Fatu and a caliber of wrestler that this is. This has to catapult him into uh, title contention of whatever caliber here in AML Wrestling. Yeah, I mean, Jacob Fatu, champion everywhere he goes. So if Bojack finds a way to make it through this and get a win over Jacob Fatu, I mean, hey, I beat this guy who beat this guy who beat this guy, so that must mean oh, that man. I could beat that guy too. Oh, my God, misdirection into the pot. It's a Bojack. And, you know, we talk about the in contention. A win here tonight could put him at the top of the list to be considered for the number one contender for the prestige title going forward. A win over the current MLW Open National Weight Champion of Jacob Fatu would catapult Bojack. What's he got going for him here? Bandera over himself under the ropes. Here comes Bojack. Big clip and sent Big flip and sent to the outside and a war cry for Bojack. There's that fire.
fire. There's that fire that we need, bud. Let's go. Battle up. What a contest here for confrontation. I talked about heart of Bojack at the start of this match, and that heart is showing through now. Oh, man, here comes Jacob Fatu into the ropes. So big, so Cena. Barely gets Bojack off of his feet. Finally, the big man goes down. Oh, boy. What is Jacob Fatu thinking now? Exactly Huge right. sitting super kick to the face. That just knocks your jaw right out of alignment. Jacob Fatu has bad intentions. Oh Whoa. my God, what a springboard moonsault by the 300 pounder. When have oh. you seen a man of that agility, of that size, have that much agility in the last decade? A Vader-like moonsault just all the way, crashing on down. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to get the job done, folks. None of this is pretty. This is a brawl. This is a fight. And, and the fans are chanting, Usi. <laughs> and Jacob took his eye off the prize on those comments, and now Bojack coming back. Huge vision, Oku driver, Oku the leg, shoulders are down. Oh my God, kick it out at two and a half. What is Bojack going to have to do to put this one away? Bojack trying to get the crowd behind him, trying to get that momentum back. He had it off of the cannonball, but Jacob Fatu, being as tough as he is, was able to come right back. No! Oh. Huge super kick, Matt Bojack in the middle. Best moonsault ever! The Emmy! Double springboard moonsault for, oh no! And Bojack kicked out. Heart and determination. We were just a heartbeat away from Jacob Fatu pinning the dreadlock demolition machine. Guys, I got it. I, that blows my mind. I'm, I thought I, I, Bojack was done. Brother, when you got 300 pounds on a double jump moonsault to the, to the canvas, you would think that that would be enough to keep the man down. Bojack really showing that he's got that next level here. Using the ropes to pull himself back up. Jacob Fatu shows himself. Oh, man, missing a huge no, no, no. splash. Huge lariat by Bojack. Now we're right where we want to Come back on, up. Come on, kid. Pop up. Oh, come on. That's all That's... she wrote. And, and ladies wow. and gentlemen, Bojack is your winner. <laughs> wow. Well what, done. What a victory. Bojack just said... This is my house now. Bojack just said, hello, world. Hello, world. You've been waiting to see somebody like me. Here I am. Hello, it's me you're looking for. You can hear the ovation of this crowd. Guys, I still... That is a huge, huge upset. I'm sweating. Huge, that huge guys. upset. Bojack really showing the world what he's got. Like, man. I, I, not to take anything away from any competitor tonight. Bojack was coming in tonight as the odds on favorite to lose. And he just proved about everyone in North Carolina wrong. Hey, Bojack. Bojack had nothing to lose coming into this match. To your point, Seth, everybody had counted him down, including myself. Bojack pulled out all the stops, everything he needed to do to win this match, and it worked. Man, Bojack standing tall here at Triad Stage in Greensboro. What a huge, huge momentum shift here at AML Wrestling. But now we ask the question, what is next for Bojack?